said, Today I have dressed up as one of a drama who charms Krishna with her love. Oh, she loves you, man. They deserve way more than that. Come on! You are so good. You are so good. So good. You can do an amazing job. Beautiful. And the credit goes to the teachers, Purimanti and Suchi Gandhi. Please give them a lot of thanks for having us on. That goes to you too. Thank you again. Thank you. And at this time, can I have Coach Anandi Group? Two, please make me Shakti Mahan. I'll say our love, the hand, just keep the charm. I'll say a good, Kabi Kata, Kabi Vita, a Kesa, Krishna, Naisika.
that the difference between day and night is subliminal. But five years are not enough, by far, to instill a necessary experience required that can accept the appreciation of its own values. I stand before you all, the parents and students, not as an alumnus of this school, but rather an example of influence. While our Indian community thrives in our foreign home of America, I cannot say the same for our cultural values and ideals. I cannot say the same for the same cultural values and the ideals apart from those that are instilled in parents, instilled in the children by parents in the dawning moments of a child's life. My parents both tirelessly strive for my well-being and ensure that I accept and help me present these bright and glorious ethics. It worked. But gradually over time, American schools introduced me to a very amount of influences. While my parents' efforts were not in vain, a developing child that lives in a country, one with different and highly revered set of moral standards, is bombarded with different standards of society. As humans, we naturally, and the modern laws of physics say, to attain something of a value, something of equal value must be sacrificed. This law of equivalent exchange applies to human curiosity. While it can be the very keystone of societal advancement, it can be the epitome of our everyday life. I will admit, this curiosity has severed some of my own values that were originally instilled in me before my exposure to our society today. Why am I explaining how society should be parents and students? And when I say society, I don't mean my own neighborhood, the town, or any other township in Long Island. I mean the world. The human race can be, and should be, considered as a whole when discussing societal matters. If one was to take an average of the collective ethical efforts, this average would be largely affected positively by some communities that enforce and protect such highly revered ethical values. This concept of unity and the effect that our different communities have on the collective human ethical code derives a quote that is seen on all of our shirts today. When we reform ourselves, the world will be reformed. When we transform ourselves, the world will be transformed. Our assimilation into our new foreign homes has given us many opportunities and has also contaminated our once pure culture. I strongly believe that just as our bodies have commanding cells in the brain to prevent the collapse of the body, or just as we have a president to maintain the order of the government, there must be an effort to prevent the seemingly inevitable collapse of our ethical and moral codes. Many of you are most likely thinking of ways that this collapse can be halted, but I will put ease to your efforts. The answer is, and always has been simple, the collection of many efforts that are put forth by countless volunteers and motivated teachers. Why must we look for an answer when the answer to this grossly dilemma is right here and right now? I believe that in our society that can lead to a demise in our traditional ethics, that a safe haven for all students, Indian or not, can be found right here and right now right here and right in the heart of our beloved guy, Vinyan Kedra of Long Island. This safe haven, as I previously named it, is named this way because if anyone in our community wants to achieve and adopt our traditional ethical code amidst this influential society, they can do so by coming to the school. This school is not a school, it is not an organization, and it is not a mandatory Sunday class. But it is definitely a place many consider a home away from home. Our homes are homes because we are comfortable in them and we feel, we feel safe in them. And based on this definition, I personally consider TGKLI my home away from home. From the amazing range of knowledge carried by our diverse gurus and many volunteers 
that tirelessly engross themselves in trying to instill positive values in our generation to pave the path of hope in our future. In our declining society, there must be a fulfillment in the universal law of equivalent exchange, and there is no bigger source of radiant positivity than right here at the heart of TGKLI. This school, while I cannot believe I have already attended five years in, is the keystone to the preservation of our values, just as curiosity is the keystone to human achievement. Our main goal in this new country, apart from daily life, should be to descend our culture into the newer generations that are developed in the new environment than the origin of new values. Just because we live and grow up in a different country, does not mean that we succumb and condemn the values practiced for hundreds of years in our motherland. Dr. Piantandra has helped me transform my life from a naive and ignorant young child into a wildly exposed and gratefully accepting of values. Not just because of my influences at home from my parents, but through my introduction to wonderful pe people and mentors, such as Ramiyanji, Ramiyanko, and Mahabharata, and countless others who have helped me preserve the living ethics of Hindu ethics and embody them within my soul. Knowing this contribution that they have made to me, I truly cannot say how grateful I am to them for the numerous opportunities that they have given me to grow and develop. I say with true passion that this collection of mentors has left a mark so clearly etched in stone that is my soul. Therefore, I cannot stress the reason for my speaking today, as I hope to continue the chain reaction that was once sparked by the aforementioned mentors in me, and I hope to inspire at least a single soul in this room, in the ocean of students, to carry on our important role in our new society. With my address coming to a close, I would like to introduce a short video that I made that may be easier for some of the younger students to understand. One request that I have is that for parents and students alike, is that all of you please read the words carefully that appear on the screen and take them to your heart. This school, Gayatri Yanakendra of Long Island, is not just a means of transformation, but it is a beacon of light that will radiate brighter than any sun in the entire universe amongst the sea of darkness. The sacred utterances or chanting of Sanskrit mantra provide us with the power to attain our goal and lift ourselves from the ordinary to the higher levels of consciousness. They give us the power to cure diseases, ward out evil, gain wealth, acquire supernatural power, worship the God, for for adapting the union and for attaining political state and sustained liberation. Please welcome the Go, 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 I'll, I'll give it to you. Go make it <clears throat>
ਜੀ ਮੋਟੀ ਮੇਰੀ ਬਾਨ ਨੇ ਬਰਤਾ ਦੁਨਿਆ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਐਸੀ ਨਰਾਨੀ ਨੇ ਮੋਟੀ ਉਸਕੀ ਖਾਲੀ ਹਰ ਬਾਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਤੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੇ ਵਾਲੋ ਕੀ ਕਦੀ ਹਾਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਤੀ